Hi guys, if you watched my previous video, uh, actually one of my previous videos, when I talk about why Redbubble is starting to collapse and why I think it is most, it's like a safer option to choose T Public right now to be your main print on demand website after Amazon Merge, obviously. Um, yeah, it got me like thinking, why do I make like a simple strategy video, how you can research the niches for TeePublic, as this can be very, but very similar to what we have on Redbubble, but I don't see many tutorials when people are trying to explain how you can do um, niche research exactly for TeePublic. So basically the strategy is gonna be really similar and I'm gonna show you how you can find like multiple niches and the current trends. We're gonna base everything on the Redbubble popular tags and you may ask why we are doing um, this using a Redbubble tool when we are researching specifically for TeePublic and that is because these websites are super similar to each other and some trends may be uh, like not existing on TeePublic and they exist on Redbubble, but the majority of trends, the majority of like a niches and sub niches, seasonal niches, evergreen niches, everything is very similar here on both websites. That's exactly why we can use Redbubble tools for doing our niche research um, on T Public. So we are here on the Redbubble automation tools, Redbubble popular tags. This is a very cool website. Uh, the website I talk a lot. Uh, so for example, Bubble Spider is a very cool tool that is based on this website, but I think we're going to be a little more classic today and we're going to use the old fashioned way <laughs> of researching niches. It's going to be a very straightforward step by step strategy. So make sure you follow uh, me exactly what I'm doing here. So first we're gonna change the 25 show entries to 100 as we want to have like the most uh, visible positions as possible so right now later we're gonna change the popularity change and basically what it means this website contains like a few thousand of currently trending keywords on Redbubble and by changing popularity or actually by sorting these phrases by um, popularity change you get the designs which exploded recently so their popularity was kind of low and they started to explode later that's why as you can see here uh, 7000 and you have international women's day and that's obvious because i am actually recording this tutorial very close to uh, international women's day it was like a week ago or something so uh it seems like obvious why it had a huge spike so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna here look for the good popularity change but also look for the small number of results what i mean by small number of results is kind of like depending on each seller but usually the the rule i use is to go lower than 500 when you're starting because later when you have already like some um, sort of credibility on redbubble and they know that you're a safe option for them so they can rank you higher instantly in the niches so basically when i have my shop with more than thousand sales on redbubble they are like instantly ranking me higher on every keyword that's why i tend to use their a uh, little more competitive niches and probably the same more or less the same is on t public but we're gonna focus on the niches which have like um around 500 maybe 600 at most uh, number of results so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna actually pick some of these niches i'm not gonna make this video too long so i'm gonna pick some of these niches and get back to you when i already have some real examples i'm back with the results actually it took me like maybe a minute so it was a little unnecessary to pause the video but uh what i did is I actually click on most of the keywords that had around 500 or below 500, maybe around 600. I was just clicking and then trying to like estimate if the niche is going to be copyright, like a first look, um, have like a couple seconds. If it seems uh, to be not copyrighted, then we of course check that later on TM Hunt. But right now I'm just having like a quick look on them and this is what I have uh, picked so the first on the woman the myth the bad influence so kind of a joke niche then you have uh, Chris Shamrock in the field this is probably related to the St. Patrick's Day uh, I bake because a bunch of people is frowned upon my kids have cats pawn and 
keep calm and do good. So as you can see, in like a minute, I was able to find five niches. And what we're gonna do right now, right now, we're gonna copy these phrases. Maybe so for example, copy this phrase and actually paste it into T public search bar. We want to see if this trend is existing on T public because for example, um, maybe on T public, this phrase was not so popular and it's not worth even trying as you're gonna be only the, the one seller selling this kind of design, but nobody wants to buy it here. So we have like a quick look and as you can see, um, yeah, it's kind of here, but it's more related to a keep calm. And I'm not sure if the keep calm is also not the copyrighted phrase, but that's okay. Uh, we can, for example, look on the other phrase. So we have like this, uh, my kids have paws, something like that. All right. Oh, not that way. Well, let me quickly go back. So um, yeah, let me just copy this phrase and paste it into T public, and as you can see this phrase is trending on T public. maybe we, do, we don't still don't know if it is trending but we have more or less idea that people are creating this kind of designs so we have my my kids have pounds my kids have pounds my kids have pounds so a lot of this kind of shirts and uh, what we're gonna do right now is we want to check the competition on T public. unfortunately there is no like um, uh, indicator here like for example on Redbubble you have uh, written on the top of the page how many results this exact keyword has uh, on the public is not that similar we'll have to scroll down a bit uh, to check the number of pages and it has around eight pages so I would say more or less the competition is quite similar than uh, that it is for example on Redbubble and I think it's gonna be like a quite a good start. The next thing I actually want to check is how many average monthly searches this niche has on Google. So we're gonna just copy this phrase, my kids have posts, and we're gonna um, move to the Google Keyword Planner. If you don't know how to install Google Keyword Planner, I will leave you a link to some YouTuber who uh, showed actually step by step how you can do it for free. In my opinion, it is the, definitely the most powerful um, keyword research tool you can use for free. As for example, the other like um, CEM Rush or um, any other websites, they cost quite a lot. Here you can check that for free, and this made from Google, so you can have like really good results when it comes to Google monthly searches. So we are just trying to click on get the results. And yeah, we can see that all keywords were removed. Try different keywords or URL. Sometimes you'll get the, this notification, uh, which actually means, I don't know, this is some kind of like a bug in this uh, research tool. I'm not quite sure how you can solve this. So to like see more or less the results, I'm gonna add like the word mom um, to this one. And we can see the average monthly search as zero to 10. So this is, too low, definitely too low. What I recommend is try to look for something from 10 to 100 average monthly searches, but that is okay. We can check also the other niches. So uh, for example, we have like this one, this is a really long keyword. So maybe we'll not pick that one, but okay, let's move for example to this one. Uh, we're gonna copy it to T public to see how many results it has. And we can see that there is also this trend is also popular on T public and it has only one page of results. So I'm not sure when is the St. Patrick's Day, but just to give you idea that this is how you check if the trend is also existing on T public. So we can see uh, for sure there is also this kind of trend here. And what we can do right now is we can copy this phrase and paste it onto Google Keyword Planner, we're gonna do that, get the results. And you can see also zero to 10 results. So more or less, this is how you can check 
uh, the number of monthly searches. If it is, for example, from 10 to 100, it means the the niche has like the minimum requirements, in my opinion, to start um, creating designs there. So I will actually quickly pause the video and try to find like a good niche to show you a real example uh, what it looks like. So this is the niche I have found. My aunt is definitely cooler than my dad. 400 results actually on Redbubble already almost 500 results, but still this is a um, good niche to try. What we do is we do exactly what we um, did uh, before. So actually we copy the phrase and we pasting it to TeePublic. And as you can see, we have this kind of designs here also. We're gonna check just the number of pages only two pages on TeePublic and from what I can see not all of them are related to this exact keyword and then later what we can do is we're gonna copy this phrase into a keyword planner which I already did and you can see average monthly searches are from 100 to 1k so it took me more or less like um, I don't know five maybe to up to ten minutes to find that niche uh, so what I would do right now is I would create like um, three to five different designs uh, in this exact niche uploaded to TeePublic. Also, you, you obviously can upload it to Redbubble 2 and to Amazon Merge. But just before uh, we have like a confirmation, this is a good niche, we'll have to um, check the copyright. So we're gonna just paste it and click on multi-search, click on search then now. You can see no data available on the table. And also we're gonna do the partial match. And as you can see, TM Han doesn't see uh, any copyrighted keywords right here. But if you want to be sure, I encourage you to look also on the other websites to be 100% sure you can use this phrase in order to sell it online on print on demand. So yeah, guys, more or less, that was it. Um, just like a quick reminder that still most of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel. So if you like the content I create for you, uh, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like, and thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day and bye-bye.